Welcome to the workshop, everybody. What's cooking? Just sipping a little coffee. Got my safety goggles. I want to talk to you about this Ryobi brushless 18 volt one plus system, seven and a quarter inch, zero to 56 degree, left uh, bevel, left blade, circular saw. I almost got through that without making a total mistake. I'll put this over here so I don't fill it with pressure treated lumber. I've gotten to use this saw a little bit and for DIY purposes, you're getting a lot of saw for the money. This is a left blade tool, which I like. I'm primarily a worm drive uh, circular saw user. I love to have the blade on the left side so I can see the blade go through the work. The bevel adjustment on this is pretty typical. Everything in here and in here is uh, powder coated stamped steel. So DIY stuff, it's gonna give you what you need. But that's a little ringy dingy for a professional job site because when we make cuts typically, it, the saw is gonna go through the work and then it's gonna hit the saw horse or the ground a million times. So we'd wanna beef this up to a different material. One of the things I like about this is the side mount battery. Easy in, easy out. It's a stem style battery, old school, so to speak. Lithium ion, but it's got a battery gauge. I found the lights a little hard to see, but they're there and that's what matters. Getting this tool only in the Ryobi One Plus system for 120 bucks. Tough to beat. Blade it comes with is typical circular saw stuff. Nothing to go crazy about. Onboard Allen key for blade wrenching. And when you do a left blade tool, typically it's not righty tighty, lefty loosey. It's the other way around. One other thing I want to bring to your attention that I love is the blade depth lever. You see that? That thing is big, easy to articulate, and just outstanding. I really like it. The overmold grip has a nice little nudge for your middle finger, I like that. It also has the trigger thing, which whatever, you kind of have to have it for cordless in some cases. The blade guard moves easily. I'm gonna show you how it operates in this ancient two by eight pressure treated lumber. I'm gonna give myself a straight line here at 48, cause why not? We'll go 48. And this stuff's old, it's been sitting outside for a while. So it's had time to dry out and get dense. You might have noticed right there, it's a little slow on the startup. That's called a soft start. Um, takes me a little getting used to. Not bad, not good, it's just there. It also has a blade break, which I really like. Okay, here we go. For weekend projects, I would say that's impressive power. Also, tip, when you're cutting a piece of wood, just let it drop. Typically, one long piece that way, and your waist, just let it drop. Just let it go to the ground like that. I'll make another cut for you to show you that in real time. Give you a little content as well as a little tool stuff. Um, $119 at the Home Depot. Weekend Warrior stuff, go for it. Good battery. You got this if you want to make a big rip. So if you're coming down like this, you want to get a good rip. just go. Always keep a trash can close by. I'm not really thinking about that right now. One thing I want to try to do live is get this blade guard to hang up. That usually happens with the stuff. Like the world's most 
DIY of a wood, pallet wood. I didn't set it deep enough. I didn't set it deep enough to hang up. Try that again. Pallet wood. Here we go. Talk to me, goose. That was my fault. I like it. Ryobi, one plus. Get it at the Home Depot, $119. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Questions, comments, concerns, they all go below. I try to look at it and comment when I can. Hope you guys are doing well. See you next time we hit the workshop.